The community is demanding answers tonight as police try to track down the shooters involved in a gunfight that wounded six people, including two children. It was a sidewalk execution in Brooklyn, and a restaurant surveillance camera caught it all on tape. <laughs> The sound of gunshots and sirens and the sight of yellow crime scene tape and dead bodies is an all too familiar presence in underserved black communities all over America. Black folks make up only 13% of the U.S. population, but commit over half of the nation's homicides. My name is Samson Styles, and I'm currently an award-winning journalist, writer, and correspondent. But that wasn't always my reality. And like many from deprived neighborhoods, I have an ugly past filled with felony convictions and violence. I've done seven years in prison and have been shot multiple times. And this is 11-year-old Christopher Underwood. He's the same age I was when I first started my used-to-be life of crime. But unlike me, Christopher is on the right track. His 14-year-old brother killed Christopher was executed in June of 2012. Christopher is filled with anger and grief because of his brother's murder. His mother is familiar with my past of being both a victim and perpetrator of gun violence. So she suggested that Christopher talk to me. I use my own life experience to give insight to the factors that causes gun violence to permeate. Poverty. There's nothing more violent than economic oppression and unemployment and poverty. The lack of positive role models. How many people we got to look up to and say, I don't want to hustle. I want to be like such and such. Those such and such don't exist in our hood. You understand what I'm saying? The influence of the streets. My environment had at least 90% to do with the poor decisions I made. The lack of fathers. From generation to generation, you have the removal, the mass removal of black males from our neighborhoods. A failed school system. So I developed a behavior problem in the fourth grade. I didn't want nobody picking on me. I wanted to fit in. Christopher's brother, Akil's murder, is unsolved. No arrest was ever made. So Christopher's first question to me was, I know you've been shot. Do you know who shot you? Yeah. I do know the guy who shot me. One of the guys, name is Stephen Thomas. But in the streets, he goes by the name of Smoke. He grew up in my grandmother's building in the Brownsville Projects. And 20 years later, I finally seen Smoke after he shot me. And instead of us continuing the beef, we decided to team up and share our story of forgiveness and reconciliation at juvenile facilities, schools, and alternative to incarceration programs to help prevent the kids from killing each other. That's a lot to digest. And there's more. 